Guys, how's it going? It's Asthmatic here, and I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about um, some features on Xbox that don't exist that I want to see implemented. Now, um, I want to create this video for two reasons. One, so that I can talk about some ideas that I have for future features that I think would be great additions to the Xbox uh, space, to the Xbox community um, experience. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and also because making this video makes a comment section down below where you guys can discuss uh, what features you want to see uh, come to Xbox on the future. It can be changes to existing features, you know, a whole new idea that you've got, whatever. Um, because let's, as a community here on the channel, talk about uh, some of these ideas that we have. Because if we get together and we bring these ideas forward, we can promote them, you know, further up the chain. And hopefully, you know, something that we come up with here can actually make its way onto Xbox. Um, I want to also tell a quick story before starting out about uh, my friend Tim Dog over on Twitter who told the story on the Shop podcast where um, he, he discovered that the, uh, what the heck is it called, the enter a code feature, like that section on the Xbox dashboard was really hard to find. If you had a connect, you could just say, hey, use a code and it brought it right up, but otherwise it was really hard to find. And he went and talked about that and was like, hey, like Xbox, like this is really hard to find and we should make that easier. Um, and, and they did. People at Xbox heard what he was saying and they understood and that he was right. And then now if you go to the store on your Xbox One dashboard under games, there is a link immediately right there at the front to enter a code. So let me preface this with Xbox listens. Xbox, you know, the company pays attention to us and if there's features that we want to make Xbox better, they're gonna do those things if they can for us. So. There's three features that I've got off the top of my head um, that I want to see brought to Xbox. And the first one is custom names on friends list. So I have people that I've met online on my friends list. I have people that I know from school, people that I know from work, people that I know from Twitter and YouTube, and all sorts of various other places, you know, friends of friends, whatever. And, you know, when you've got like 150 or, you know, a lot of people have way more than 150 people on their friends list, you forget who people are. And it's not that you forget people, it's that there's just so gosh darn many people that you can't remember, oh yeah, you know, whatever crazy ridiculous gamer tag is Jim from here. You don't remember that. And so I think it'd be great if there was a way that I could take the people on my friends list and make custom names for them. So that if I could say, oh, you know, this guy is James, you know, this guy is blah, blah, blah from here, you know, and like, because I've got like a friend named James from here and a friend named James uh, from here. Hello, both of you guys. Um, and so it'd be great if I could, you know, say blah, 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 this guy, blah, 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 this guy. Um, and I think that would be a really great addition because then I could say, you know, this is this guy from YouTube, this is this guy from here, whatever. Um, going off of that, I would like friend groups so that, like I mentioned before, I've got school, pe school friends, friends from online, friends from here, that all kind of stuff, whatever. Um, it'd be great if we could do friend groups because then, you know, let's say I'm hopping onto the division and I'm like, all right, let's play, uh, who would love, who is someone who I would like to be, um, in a fire team with on the division. And I can go to my friends list, go to groups and then say division people. And then anyone that I've added to there who I've played with before, who was really fun and who really enjoyed it, I've got them in that list, you know, and then what if I could send an invite to anyone who's online in that group, if I could send a message to everyone in that group, that would just be so awesome. You know, and if I could say, um, like say like people from the podcast, like if we're like, oh, hey, like we're going to play, you know, Halo tomorrow night at whatever time, you know, and then add me to your friends list. And then I make that group of all the people from the podcast who wanted to play Halo tomorrow night. And then when we're playing, I go and I hit boom and I send an invite to all those people and everyone can show up and we play games. Um, so I think custom names on friends list and custom groups um, within the friends list would be a great um, addition to the Xbox experience. Um, the next one is custom commands for the Kinect. And this is sort of because when you start actually using your Kinect every day, it gets a little bit cumbersome to do certain things. Um, because say if you're launching a game, you have to launch that game by its full name. So like, say you want to play Forza. Um, you have to actually say X word. My, my Xbox is on, so I can't say the full things. You have to actually say X word, play Forza Motorsport 6 or play Halo 5 Guardians. But I think it would be so much easier if say like, you know, what if I don't have Master Chief Collection or the only Halo game I have on my Xbox One is Halo 5. It'd be so cool if I could just say, hey, Xbox play Halo. And it goes right to it. If I could sort of shortcut that. 
Um, and in the same way, um, I use Amazon Instant Video to watch a lot of Red vs. Blue. Because for those of you guys who don't know, all of Red vs. Blue is on Amazon Instant Video. So put that app on your Xbox and watch it. But when I want to watch, um, you know, a season, I have to say I'm, I'm in the app and then I have to say um, Xbox play, you know, Red vs. Blue. Be quiet. I have to say play Red vs. Blue, The Blood Gulch Chronicles Season 6 or, epi- or you know, whatever, Episode 6, whatever. Um, and it gets just like super cumbersome because if it doesn't understand one of those words in the middle, the whole thing is lost. But to the defense of the Connect, usually it does understand everything um, the first time through. It's just a little cumbersome to have to say like half a paragraph sometimes to get to something. Um, and I guess this is something I'm thinking of right now. And it seems a little maybe too much to ask, but it would be super awesome in the future if we could do like nested commands, you know, or if we could just sort of have like a logic where I could say, hey, um, watch Red versus Blue. And my Xbox would know, oh, well, the last time you watched it, it was on here and blah, blah, blah. And we'll go and we'll open this app and find it and pick up where you left off. That would be great. Um, I feel like that's a little bit too far-fetched for right now. Um, but if there's any programmers from Xbox who are watching this video, um, that would be turbo awesome. That would be fantastic if we could get a feature like that. Um, but that's really what I've got to talk about on features I would love to see come to Xbox custom names on friends list so that I can remember who everyone is groups so that I can actually have people um, segmented off. So I know who likes to play what games or where I know people from and all that. Um, And some custom connect voice commands so that I could make uh, the commands I use shorter, which makes it faster and easier for me to navigate through my dashboard and get to games and apps quicker. So let me know, please in the comments, um, whatever custom or sorry, whatever new features you would love love to see come to Xbox, whether it be 360, Xbox One, Xbox.com stuff, whatever. Let me know and we'll talk about it. If I think of anything else, I will add uh, my future thoughts down in the comments below. So yeah, that's what I got. Let's talk. Thank you very much, guys. This is Ben Asthmatic and I'll see you in the next video. Later.